Hey everybody, my name's Neil, and today I want to start a new series talking about funny names around the world, but more specifically to start this out, for each province in Canada, and then move on to the states, every state in the United States. I'm from Fredericton, New Brunswick, so I gotta start with my home province. I was born and raised here, so why not look at some funny names around New Brunswick, and then we'll move on to Nova Scotia, and PEI, and Quebec, and Newfoundland, and obviously across Canada, and then start with Maine, because Maine's right next door. And although this does have, this have really has nothing to do with the basic content of my channel, if you look in the background, clearly this is a hockey channel, okay? I'm wearing a hockey hat. It's just what I talk about. But it, my viewers are from all over the world, and the majority of my viewers are from Canada and the United States. So everyone, event not everyone, I guess the, the majority of people will be able to kind of, you know, see their home province or home state on the channel going through some funny and weird place names. Because I know, like if you're sitting at home and you're in such and such state or such and such province, you already know in your mind some of the weird named places in your province or state. And then maybe after that we can go to, you know, countries in Europe and Asia and stuff because there's all kinds of weird names all over the place. But we're going to start out with New Brunswick. Now I'm going to try and choose 15 from every single place. So 15 from New Brunswick, next time 15 from PEI or Nova Scotia, so on and so forth. So I've picked 15 from New Brunswick. So let's dive in and let's have a laugh. I'm gonna put these up on the screen as I go through. So I'll throw up number one up there. And uh, I'd like to tease you guys a little bit, I guess, and have you try and pronounce possibly out loud if you're watching with a friend or by yourself as we go through these and see if you can you know, guess the correct pronunciation. Because where I live, New Brunswick, the population is, I don't know, like 800,000 for the entire province. And Atlanta, Canada in general is not very populated. So the majority of, of people who are watching the channel don't live in Atlantic Canada. So everything in this video is likely going to, every place is likely going to be a new place for someone. So the first one is absolutely ridiculous. I think it's pronounced Bonner Law. That is um, a little tiny place, if I'm not mistaken. I've never actually been there. It's uh, my home province, but I've never never been to this spot. But I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Bonner Law. That's not how I pronounce it. And that's probably not how you pronounce it. I, I, it's Boner Law. Like I, I say Boner Law, which is hilarious. So good start here. Good start. Number two. This is a place that used to exist that I believe just got renamed, but I wanted to keep it in here anyway. And it's um, Dingley Cooch Road. <laughs> I can't remember what it's named now. I think I've got it up actually on a different uh, monitor here. So let me see. No, I don't. I don't. Never mind. I thought I had a photo of the current name, but I don't. So Dingley Cooch Road. Unbelievable. If you don't know what a cooch is, you might want to look it up or not look it up, actually. Number three, a bit of a potentially controversial one. Uh, I believe this is a French inspired a French pronounced word. I don't know if it's like a historically a French name. It could be an indigenous name. I'm not exactly sure, but I am quite confident that the name that you're likely, you know, the or the pronunciation that you're likely saying out loud or thinking in your head is not how it's actually pronounced. I'm not sure how it's actually supposed to be pronounced authentically. I say Nigadu, and the majority of people that I know say it, which is, you know, New Brunswick is the only bilingual province in, in Canada, but... 80% of people in New Brunswick are English and only like 20% are French. Um, I think the if you include people who speak French and English, the 20% goes to like 35% or something, but specifically French only is around 20%. The majority of people say Nigadu. Anyone from the rest of Atlanta, Canada likely says the same thing or anyone visiting. It's a very odd name for, for sure. Uh, number four, this is one of my favorite places, not only in New Brunswick, but in the world, just based on the name. I've never actually been here, I don't think. Um, Taintville. <laughs> Taintville. Uh, I need to see where Taintville is, actually. I'm going to throw it up on the screen. Maybe I, maybe I have been here. Okay, I'm actually pretty sure I have been here. I didn't actually realize that uh, that's where it was. It may have been renamed to Logieville. But, uh, yeah, Taintville. Amazing. Amazing name, Taintville. Number five. Haha -ha Cemetery. <laughs> what? Haha -ha Cemetery? That seems very contradictory. It should be named something like Boohoo Cemetery, but that is also maybe a little bit offensive and controversial. But Haha -ha Cemetery, it just that's a weird name. I 
I don't know the history of it. I don't know the history of any of these places. It's just funny. That's the point of the video. Okay, next up, number six, Raggedy Ass Falls. Not even joking. This, is, this isn't this is a joke. This is a real place. I've been here, Raggedy Ass Falls. I don't know who named it, and I don't know why they named it that, but I love it. Raggedy Ass Falls, that is a real place in New Brunswick. It's actually not even that far from me. That's the thing. Uh, it's not that far. I could be there in less than an hour, probably. Raggedy Ass Falls. And it's it's not even weird. Like, that's I just grew up with that name. Like, I just, I've known about that forever. It's only weird now that I think about it, actually. So, yeah. Next is, oh, yeah, this is a classic. Um, Pokey Oak. That's how I say it. Uh, that's how I all my friends say it. I don't know if you say it differently or, you know, pronounce it differently when you first saw that. But, yeah, yeah, Pokey Oak. Amazing. Number eight, Burnt Church. Yeah, I, I I don't know either. I don't know why. I don't know how. <laughs> Burnt Church. It's a real place. It's an absolutely real place, and I have been here. Number nine. This one's a weird one because it was actually suggested that I put it on the list, but it, and it's weird because I don't think it's weird. I am so used to this place, and I've been here multiple times, I'm just so exposed to it that I don't even think it's weird. So it's it's weird for me for it to be on the list, but I can understand you looking at it and never seeing that word before, never being to that place before. How number one, how do you say it? Number two, what is it? Well, I don't know what it is, and it said quispamsis. That's how you pronounce it. Um, again, not weird for me at all. It's a very very normal place, quispamsis, but I can understand how that is a weird word for an outsider. Number ten, another one of my personal favorites, Sackville. Sackville. You could you could travel from Sackville to Boner Law to Taintville. What a road trip that would be. Sackville. That's a good one. Number 11. Um, I've actually never heard of this place until I was prepping for this video. It's called Pangburn. Pangburn. And it is uh, in a basically the middle of nowhere, <laughs> New Brunswick. Uh, yeah, Pangburn. Very strange name for sure. Number 12 is Baghdad. Baghdad, New Brunswick, another one that I was not familiar with before I was prepping for this video. I have not been to, been to Pangburn or Baghdad before in my life. Number 13, another one of my personal favorites just because I love the way that you say it, Pokalogan. At least that's how I pronounce it. If it is pronounced a different way, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I say Pokalogan and everyone that I know says Pokalogan. So no idea what it means, amazing name. Number 14, Plaster Rock, pronounced as it's spelt. This is another one like Quispam Sis. Plaster Rock is not a weird place or a weird name for me. It is a very normal place that was always normal. And I never even considered that it might be weird or strange until someone suggested it for this list. So you know, that forced me to kind of look at this as an outsider and like oh, look at it like, oh, Plaster Rock, that is actually kind of a weird name for a place. So yeah, Plaster Rock, I decided to put it on the list. I think it uh, des deserves to be here. Number 15, Beersville. Beersville. Yep, there's a place called Beersville. I don't think I've ever been there, but I definitely know that it exists, Beersville. So that's the 15, but I have a bonus one, and it's more about pronunciation than it is it being like a weird name. I mean, it, it's weird. It's just, I think it's an indigenous name, but I'll throw it up on the screen. So this is the bonus one. And this is, again, this isn't a weird place for New Brunswickers. This is a very popular uh, place, especially in the summer. Lots of people go here. It's um, It's got a very famous park there. Very nice place, actually. Uh, but it's pronounced, even New Brunswickers pronounce it a little bit differently. So I'll tell you how I pronounce it. And um, maybe even that is would be wrong. But I, I say, Kujibakwak. That's how I say it. That's why I was raised to say it. And that's how everyone that I know says it. So Kujibakwak. Uh, sometimes some people call it uh, Guji. That's the, you know that's the short for it. But yeah, Guji Quack. That's how you say it. No idea what it means. No idea where it comes from. But it's a cool word, and uh, lots of people pronounce it wrong. <laughs> and by wrong, I mean maybe that's me. I don't know. Maybe you pronounce it right. But yeah, I just thought this would be a fun video to kind of go through and just you know sit back, have a laugh, and look at some fun names. I have prepped just to let you know. I have prepped Newfoundland, Prince Edward Island, Nova Scotia, Quebec. Maine, Ontario, those are the ones, and probably in that exact order actually, that are coming. Next, 
maybe I'll release these, I don't know, maybe once a week at most, probably once every two weeks or something like that. Um, I definitely like to do all of Canada and all of the United States in, uh, in 2024. I think that would be really fun. And it's something that is also kind of travel related. Like we've got content on the channel here that's not hockey related. We do some GeoGuessr, um, some, some, some flag stuff, some traveling as well. So I, I like, I kind of like that aspect of it. It also is, feels a little bit educational for me because I get to learn new places in each province and state as well. So hopefully you learned something from this video. And if you did, leave a like button. If it made you smile, leave a like button. If you're new and you wanna see the other videos coming from all the provinces and all the states, please hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you here. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're having a fantastic day. We'll talk to you soon. Adios.